Seventh, and that excerpt was from Till Oil and Spiegel's Merry Pranks by Richard Strauss, and it's our second 2023 TMEA Allstate excerpt for viola. We start two bars before figure 35, and I like to play this as an on-the-string détaché stroke, and as the dynamics get louder, I use more bow, and as the dynamics get softer, I use less bow. So it looks like this. Diminuendo, subito forte accent, diminuendo, subito forte accent, diminuendo. Again. Now we have a, a we're switching from two bar units to one bar units. Each bar starts with an accent and each bar crescendos gets louder than the bar before it. Then at bar 36, we've got triple forte and Till Oil and Spiegel's main theme returns. We have the subito forte and for, fortissimo and forte dynamics always starting on the fifth eighth note of each bar. So we want to bring out those dynamics, but also the phrasing. ride that goes a little bit crazy. I play it in the lower half off the string. And before figure 37, the composer gives us a tempo indication and TMEA sort of flags it. TMEA says tempo fluctuation should be followed as printed in this excerpt. What the composer says, I'm not a German speaker or an expert, but the composer says immer, which means always, ausgelassener, which means more exuberantly, und lebhafter, which means and livelier. So the combination of always and livelier, to me, means a cello rondo. We're getting faster and faster and faster. In music, things are rarely always one way. I listened to three recordings by famous conductors of this passage. Two of them do the accelerando, and one does a subito faster and stays faster. But what they all agree on is we're getting faster. So whether you choose to go gradually faster and faster and faster, as I do, or whether you choose to jump to a faster tempo and stay there, um, I think that's your choice. I like the accelerando because to me it sounds like the horse ride gets wilder and wilder. And to me, I feel like that's what the composer is asking for always livelier, so each bar gets more lively than the last. Um, but regardless of how you choose to do it, we need to pace our accelerando or our subito faster tempo to a tempo that we can really play. And to start, we need to really get these pitches at figure 37 because they don't sit in the ear very well, except figure 37, as difficult as that is, Think back to our laughter motif in our first excerpt. And then listen to these pitches. You hear how it's the same motif? He's just transformed it into eighth notes. And we're going faster and faster, and again, Pick up to the fourth bar of 37. Same motif. So it might help to get that in your ear. The last line is pretty tricky for pitches. We have to do this slowly. I find, I imagine adding an extra note in the last line between the first and second bars. I add a G natural as the note I shift to. Even though that G, that I don't play the G and it's not written, I shift from the E flat to the G. Helps me get my B flat. And then once I get my B flat, 
in my mind, I flip the C flat, A flat to B, G sharp. It helps me hear B, G sharp, A, G, G sharp, A, like that. So that's work that you really need to do slowly and carefully to get those notes in your ear before you think about how fast you're going to play it and how you're going to get to the end. I play it all on the lower half off the string. The last two bars, we have our famous ricochet. I start by practicing it just six eighth notes from the elbow, kind of good mechanics. Easy. Like that. And then the second eighth note, we just let the bow fall twice. Like that. At a fast tempo, fortissimo, I find I have to squeeze the bow quite a bit with my fingers so that the ricochet is fast and percussive and clear. If I'm too loose, the, the bow flubs and I don't hear the 16th notes really clearly spoken. that so that you can get two 16th notes on that one down bow. So good luck on your 2023 TMEA Allstate excerpts. If you have any questions as always feel free to put them in the comments below.